The process of converting a fluid flow simulation to thermal fluid flow is simple and straightforward. When you assign inlet or outlet boundary conditions, you will see a temperature icon on the right hand side of the heads up display or HUD. Here you can assign fluid temperature and easily convert the physics to thermal fluid flow. In our case, let's say we want to change it to thermal fluid flow after applying all the boundary conditions. For that, double click on any of these inlet boundary conditions from the physics tree. Then from the right hand side of the HUD, you can easily click on this temperature icon and assign temperature. Assign 22 degrees Celsius to both top flow inlets and 40 degrees Celsius to the bottom flow inlet so that the top vents release cold air whereas the bottom vents release hot air. To enable gravity and get buoyancy effects, you can go to the physics tree and click on the include in simulation icon next to the gravity to turn it on. You can select the direction of gravity by clicking on the drop down menu and then choosing the desired direction. In this case, the direction is positive Z. Let's run the simulation. Once the simulation is complete, first turn off the vectors by clicking on the vectors icon in the result arc. Then turn on the contour from the result arc and set it to the bodies by right clicking on the contour icon and then selecting all bodies from the location. If temperature is not showing by default, then you can change it to temperature by clicking on the three dots in the legend and then selecting temperature. To set the temperature range, adjust the slider bar from the legend, set the top slider to max temperature and the lower slider to somewhere between 35 to 37 degrees Celsius to see the high temperature gradient flow coming out of the bottom vents. To set the temperature range to cold, drag the bottom slider to the lowest temperature value and the top slider to somewhere around 25 degrees Celsius. You can also plot monitors on surfaces or planes. Start by creating the necessary planes or surfaces. You can use the surface body that has already been included with the provided geometry. Then select monitors from the result section under the simulation tab. Now select the surface and then choose the desired monitor from the drop down menu on the left side of the heads up display. In this instance, I am selecting temperature. Now from the right side of the heads up display or HUD, select magnitude to be average and confirm your selection by clicking the check mark or pressing the enter key on your keyboard to create the temperature monitor. Here it is evident that the temperature of the air striking near the driver's face is within acceptable limits. So in this last lesson, we learned how to change a fluid flow simulation to thermal fluid flow. Please watch our other tutorials to learn more about ANSYS discovery.